for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot Snoop, the man as always. Got my weekly Madden update video for you guys today. I'm doing this early. I typically put this out Friday, but the information comes out Thursday, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, get this video out early to see, because I have a different video planned for tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, but I want to get this video out early Thursday night when the information came out to see if this video performed any better, because I like doing this video since it's basically pretty easy to do, as I'm just reporting a lot of times on player ratings, changes, and stuff like that. Uh, so it's something that I want to keep doing, but as always, if you guys want to see me continue to do this Woo! hit the like button let me know in the comment section all right now let's go and get right into this is just a player ratings thing there's not a lot of information there is a new update that should be coming out pretty soon an actual title update that i'm hearing is going to come out hopefully you know within the next couple of weeks so if you want to see me break that down as i typically do as always make sure to hit the like button let me know in the comment section let's go and let's get right into these player ratings though as the season's done for a lot of teams, I mean, there's only four teams left. Uh, shout out to the Eagles, by the way. I got all my picks right last week. If you guys follow this weekly video series, I did do my Super Bowl picks last week. I picked the Eagles and the Bengals to go, and I got all my picks right so far. So I think I'm seeing the board pretty clearly. And it has nothing to do with me being an Eagles fan. My final predictions are going to be the Eagles do beat the Bengals in the Super Bowl. That part is just a little bit of a hope. I do think the Bengals might be the best team right now. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think those are the two best teams. So, going through the player ratings. Last week, I had a huge issue with uh, Dak Prescott getting a plus three, beating up a very bad and old uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers team that didn't really belong in the playoffs. He got a lot of credit for that, and he got a plus three last week. After last week's performance, I'm going to need EA to dial that back and give me those three points back. And they met me halfway. They did drop him two points back to his original rating. He started the year as an 88 in Madden, in Madden 23. He ended up leading the league in interceptions. And somehow he still, in the 12 games, mind you, and somehow he still ended the season on an 88. So I just want to start off with that because there's two teams I typically focus on to start this off. That's my, uh, my Eagles and the Cowboys. Now, the Eagles, obviously, Jalen Hurts is the other guy. I'm constantly saying, why is he rated so low? He did get a one-point boost, so he's up to an 86. Not bad for a performance. We had 112 quarterback rating and uh, three touchdowns, one of which running. But at the end of the day, I mean, they blew the Giants out so bad, they didn't need him to do much. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's go from top to bottom. I typically start off with those for people that are, you know, fans of the teams that are in my conference. But let's go ahead and let's get to all of the ratings, uh, starting from the very top. Now, Fred Warner did go up. I think he actually got a speed rating. Uh, which is uh, unique. You don't always see guys get bumps in speed, but I guess staying stride for stride with CeeDee Lamb in the Cowboys game, going right up the middle, that was a very famous pet, a play as he, as he broke that play up. Uh, Would have been a big play the other way. Um, so I guess I got him a speed boost. And so now he's up in 86. He, st he stayed with a receiver on a play, so he gets a speed boost. Obviously a great player. Uh, Joe Burrow got a plus two. This guy here, uh, Joey Montana, uh, he, I mean, he's he's definitely uh, got on the rise. I've heard a lot of people say that if he beats Patrick Mahomes this weekend or he has a case for best quarterback in the league and the ratings don't, you know, the ratings kind of reflect it. He's up to a 95. It's a plus two, up to a 95. Uh, that's obviously, I don't I got to see what he started the year at. Started the year as a 90 before dropping to an 88 after a couple of bad weeks and then going back up. So he's obviously, uh, you know, this guy, he's in the top five, I think, too, for MVP, although I really don't think he's going to win it. I think last I saw, I think it was Offensive Player of the Year and MVP was uh, Mahomes, Hurts, and uh, Justin Jefferson were like the big three. Um, lots of players in here that aren't actually playing that get ratings boosts and changes too. You would think it would just be the playoff teams based off of these guys' performances, but that's not the case. Josh Allen drops one, which I got to agree with. Uh, he did not show up against the Bengals. That's a game where you needed your star quarterback to be a star quarterback, and he didn't do it. So dropping a point there makes total sense to me. Marlon Humphrey, once again, guy not playing. He did get a plus one, though, somehow uh, out there in the world, um, even though he was eliminated in the first round. Shadavius White down a point. Once again, his team lost. I don't think he necessarily played terribly but uh that's that's kind of the trend a lot of times when playoff teams lose or win it basically you know really changes their rating based off of the entire team's performance especially when they're star players so marlon humphrey down a point but still obviously a very good player at a 92 right now uh continuing forward tom brady went up a point I mean, I don't know why. He didn't do anything. I think they just wanted to put him ahead of Dak Prescott because they basically last week changed that by dropping him a point and putting Dak Prescott up three points to just jump him and Aaron Rodgers because Aaron Rodgers also lost points. It's total nonsense. Tyron Smith got a, a – he dropped three. He went down, uh, I think, six 
in strength from the looks of it. Six whole drops in strength points from a 96 to a 90. I mean, that guy's not what he was at this point. He's obviously a you know probably a Hall of Fame player, but he's getting old and, and he's had a lot of injuries over the years. I, at some point, he's going to drop in production, and I think that's he's pretty much at that point. But a drop of three, I mean, I don't, I don't, I didn't really remember him giving up like a ton of sacks and stuff like that. I'm not really sure where that comes from. But either way, that's what it is. Dallas got it going up a point. Had a good game against. I mean, he had a touchdown. I remember against the Giants, but everybody did game against the Giants. So he goes up to uh, 89. Um, you have Hassan Reddick. Here's a guy. He he gets another point boost. Here's a guy started the year. I mean, this is one of the highest rises in the whole game. Started the year as an 82, and in my opinion, should be a 90 plus. I mean, the guy is a total game changer. Uh, I mean, uh, there's a lot of guys that get sacks on the Eagles line, but this particular guy is the one getting sacked fumbles, and he's just making plays all over the field. He should be the defensive player of the year running, but he's not. If he played, like I said before, if he played for the Cowboys, he'd be household name, uh, but definitely one of the best defensive players in the game. He's still not cracking a 90. That's one that's also getting under my skin. Him and uh, him and uh, Jalen Hurts are probably my two biggest guys getting overlooked. Dak Prescott, like I said, yeah, he, I guess he didn't get the whole three points back, but he did drop two points back to an 88. Still doesn't make a ton of sense. This is a guy who, like I say, started the year as an 88. Uh, basically, he had, no, I'm sorry, he started the year as an 89, but he dropped all the way to an 86 before he came back from injury week seven. So he was basically starting the year at an 86. Then, for some reason, the next 12 games, he led the league in interceptions and still went up two points, which makes no sense. So to me, if you had him at an 86 for no reason or whatever the reason was, he probably still should be there or lower if you're going to lead the league in something like interceptions. Uh, Rashawn Gary, another guy who I don't think has played for a very long time. I thought he was out with an injury for the entire year. He dropped the point for no reason. Uh, he's down one to an 88. Um, then you got uh, Alvin Kamara, a guy who really dropped most of the year. Got a one-point boost back up uh, while, you know, sitting at home on his couch. Or, <laughs> I'm not really sure why, because he hasn't played in a while either, but he's up to an 87. Like I said, I, I'm not saying I disagree with some of these ratings changes, because um, I think Kamara should be a higher-rated player. I know he didn't have the best year, but neither did the Saints in general. But still, it's kind of weird to see a guy like that dropping. Trey Henderson probably should get a boost. He didn't get one. Uh, for the Bengals, he's still an 87. He's a guy that, to me, should be an above 90 player as well. Uh, continuing forward, I'm probably only going to go to like the 85 overall guys and higher. That's typically what I do. Ezekiel Elliott, another guy who basically, um, he started the year as an 88, rightfully dropped to an 86, and maybe should drop even further. He's not be, he, he has his moments where he's still a consistent in-between-the-tackles guy. But, I mean, I can't tell if it's just, you know, Tony Pollard making him look so mediocre. But, yeah, he's just washed. I mean, he's that's what happens to running backs. You don't pay them. You don't you don't give them that contract because they, they just get worn down too quickly. And, and, and Ezekiel Elliott is a prime example of that. But he's down in 86. Like I say, he should probably be lower by the time the game starts next year if I had to guess because he'll be one year older. Jalen Hurts, like I said, up a point, up to an 86. Didn't actually see what that ratings improvement was, though. I'll go ahead and I'll go through this real quick just to tell you guys because to me it's important. I still think this guy's fumble rating needs to be uh, fixed quite a bit because he doesn't fumble the ball that much. And, you know, it's funny. I, I go through the entire thing. I can't see any actual individual category that they improved him. So they basically just gave him a one-point ratings boost because even they know at this point that's kind of ridiculous. Oh, never mind. His uh, awareness went up too. Woohoo! big deal. So, yeah, he's more aware, uh, which makes sense. I mean, you know, playing playoff games that's gonna that's gonna season a veteran pretty quickly moving forward uh there's only one or two more players i think that are on here before 85s um because the list is kind of getting kind of thin here so Kalize campbell also got a plus one i don't know why he's down so low at an 85 i mean he's a really good player chase young another guy minus one hasn't played i don't think for i don't know if he's played most of the year so i don't know why he's getting a minus one uh one of the best edge you know players in the game young guy injured quite a bit but still Jordan Mailata gets a plus one he's up to an 85 uh, which you know I don't really remember I guess you know the Giants didn't really get a ton of pressure on the Eagles so I guess that would be pretty much why and that's pretty much it because that's the last 85 overall I pretty much only go over the guys that are 85 pluses so that's that's the vid like I said I just want to get this video out a little bit early uh, tonight because I want to see if it'll perform better in prime time at like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. Uh, but if you guys want to see me continue this video, as always, especially when there's a title update, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.